Welcome everyone to Monday Night Turbo. We're here in New York, New York for one reason. We're here for China as we're putting the Intercontinental Championship and the WWE Undisputed Heavyweight Championship on the line tonight for China. Oh snap! Are you ready as you're going to see a debut of our most powerful WWE Superstar behind Sally. And he calls himself Beast Mode. He is Austin Shields. Beast Mode Austin Shields. Here he come trying to get his Intercontinental Championship in his debut. Well, hold up. Wait a minute. Bow. Let's go. Beast Mode. Beast Mode Austin Shields is the 10th wonder of the world. He leaves number 9 for China. So it's kind of bad timing that he has died, but you know, he left the number 9 for China and he wants to be the 10th wonder as he this man is pure muscle. 6'6, 300 pounds, super cent body fat. Jesus. This man is a behemoth. He's very strong. He can be picked up. He's not like, you know, a FA where you can't pick them up. But you, he can be picked up, but he can pick you up with no problem. He can probably toss you from here to the freaking other side of the country. And now he's attempting to win a championship that China has won twice in her career. Look at that pure muscle. He needs to get a little bit more cut, though. I ain't gonna lie. If he gets more cut, it's gonna be crazy. That man is huge. That's one thing he does have to work on. He is huge. JBL, Michael Cole, Jared King, Lawler. Alright, now here comes. Tiger. 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 He is the Intercontinental Champion. He won the Intercontinental Championship. No, no, he didn't win it. He retained it at SummerSlam Year 7 uh, after defeating zebra and now not only did he keep his championship he also got his moniker back as the king of the jungle because whenever tiger and zebra face off one on one the winner is the king of the jungle that's the thing between both of them ever since they debuted as they both um self-proclaimed themselves as the king of the jungle but there shall only be one king but now focus on this tiger has to defend his championship against this rookie austin shields and it's all for this WWE Intercontinental Championship. Now, introduce him first. From Atlanta, Georgia, making his debut, he is Beast Mode, Austin Shields. And introduce him second. He is the king of the jungle. He is our intercontinental champion. He is the master of the TKO. You call him Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Say it three times. And now Tiger has to hand over that championship. Looking at it one more time because this could be his last time. If he loses to this rookie, Austin Shields. Austin Shields making his debut here tonight. He wants to change the world. He is the 10th wonder of the world and if you piss him off he will go beast mode Austin Shields Tiger let's go ring the bell let's raise some hell here we go and there goes Austin Shields just tossing up Tiger stumping away on Tiger like he ain't nothing Tiger growing up out of the way here we go ooh no office from Tiger just yet oh yes it is and now Austin Shields kicking him in his shin. Ooh, Tiger getting out of the way, showing his veteran skills. And there goes a slam by Tiger. And Austin Shields kneeing Tiger right in his face. Some punches by Austin Shields. Uh oh, Tiger trying to pick up Austin Shields. He actually does get it done. And he's going to knee him in the back. Austin Shields getting up. With a nice uppercut. Misses that other uppercut. And there goes Tiger picking him up. For face planting him. Face buster right to the mat. And Tiger is showing why he is a veteran in this business. Here goes Austin Shields tossing him up. Spine buster. Austin Shields showing his pure strength. 
But Tiger is showing his quickness. Tiger is very strong himself. But he is very quick when he's going against people that's stronger than him. Ooh, but there goes a nice uppercut by Austin Shields. And look at the muscles of Austin Shields. Oh, Austin Shields. Pick it. Oh, power bombing him. Austin. Beast mode power bomb. One. Two. And there goes a kick out by freaking Tiger. And look at Austin Shields showing off his muscles once again. And Tiger is going to stop that. Tiger with the neck breaker. Here goes Tiger. Cold breaker by Tiger. That could put Austin out. Wait a minute. No. Here we go. He is now the king of the jungle. So he's going to do the king of swing. And swinging Austin Shields. Around and around he goes. Around the jungle. Now he knows. I don't know what I was trying to sing right there. Oh, 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 rope break. Oh, half Boston Crab by Tiger. Now what is he waiting for right here? Now he's going to try to take a pinfall on the beast mode, Austin Shields. But there goes the pinfall. Being broken up by Austin Shields. Oh, kicking him right in his chest. Tiger, you can tell he's the freaking veteran as he is now toying with Austin Shields. But Austin Shields, he may be a rookie, but this man is very powerful. If he can learn how to use his power a little bit more in this matchup right here, he can come out with the victory. But Tiger right now has the momentum against Tiger. Tiger has the momentum against Austin Shields. Here we go. Chinlock Jungle. It's not the city when you're in the jungle. Wrenching on the neck of beast mode, Austin Shields. Austin Shields trying to get out of this situation. But he is the man with the strength right now. He has the strength advantage against Tiger. He's getting out of it. Uh-oh. Oh, gets kicked in the stomach, though. Breaks away out of that. Ooh. Tiger with that nice kick to get out of that situation of getting his foot caught by Austin. Now wrapping his legs and Nurse goes to elbows to the top of the head. Austin Shields being picked up by Tiger. Another cold breaker. Bang. Here we go for the pinfall. And there goes the kick out by Austin Shields. Very close. For Tiger to retain his championship tonight on Turbo is China. And another nice backbreaker. But uh oh. The Tiger is trying to be let out of his cage. Pushed off. Oh, Tiger picking up Austin Shields. Face planted. Oh, Austin Shields is busted wide open in his debut matchup. And there goes Tiger wrenching at the neck of Austin Shields. Kicking him in his stomach. Damn, Tiger has had this matchup the whole time. Jesus. Austin Shields getting picked up by Tiger. Another cold breaker. And this could be it. This could be all she wrote. Hell no! Austin Shields kicking out immediately. Dang, I was not expecting that. A nice clothesline by Austin Shields. And now once again, flexing his muscles. Austin Shields. Here we go. Beast mode powerbomb. And there goes the kick out by freaking Tiger. Uh oh, it's time to go beast mode. Austin Shields is pissed. Oh, beast mode spear. Here we go for the pinfall. Ref. And that's all she wrote. Because now the 10th wonder of the world, Austin Shields, has won the Intercontinental Championship in his debut matchup look at these spine busters 
man, this man is powerful. 300 pounds and freaking 2% body fat. Look at that power bomb he did to freaking Tiger. And that wasn't even a spin out power bomb. Or, in his words, right here it was the beast mode power bomb. And that was the end right there. The beast mode spear. That is the most vicious spear in the WWE. Even in his first matchup, I've given it that freaking name because it is. You see, he just ripped Tiger in half. And look at him. He now has that Intercontinental Championship around his waist, over his chest, everywhere. Austin Shields, he did it for China in his debut match. He wanted to do it before she passed away, but he still can do it when she was living, when she passed away, and when he's dead and gone, he would still do it for China. And now up next is Doggy Dog defending his championship for China tonight. And that's all we're gonna do for Turbo. All right, welcome back as Triple H is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Doggy Dog. Oh, snap. The new, the new world order. Here comes the leader of the new world order. Bang! Here he is. Doggy Dog, the leader of the new world order. He's going to defend his championship against Triple H as he wants to put the pain. Look at, oh, look at Doggy Dog. He's pissed. Oh, snap. As he wants to beat the shit out of Triple H. After everything Triple H has done in China. Uh oh. Doggy Dog stumping away on Triple H. Nice uppercuts. Triple H trying to stump him. And Doggy Dog put his championship on the line in order for Triple H to accept this match. Oh, rolling outside the ring is Doggy Dog. Doggy Dog coming back inside. And another loot ass press. This is how you know Doggy Dog wants to beat the crap out of Triple H. Stomping him in the back of his head. Kicking him in the back of his head. A nice uppercut by Doggy Dog. Doggy Dog was coming out the ramp and he was not having any of it as he wanted to beat the crap out of Triple H as soon as he can. Ooh. Oh, Do Triple H dodging those punches. Doggy Dog, our champion. Freaking stopping Triple H from everything he's doing. Uh oh. Triple H with that farm. Triple H. Ooh, knees to the stomach. And now he's kicking Doggy Dog in the face. Triple H with some more stomps. Stomps to the mix section of Doggy Dog. Picking up Doggy Dog. Doggy Dog with that arm drag. Knees to the face by Triple H. Triple H and China were in a relationship at one point of time. Oh, Triple H. Punching Doggy Dog back. Ooh. Unsuccessfully. Uh-oh. We know what this is. Doggy Dog! When you hear the lightning, here comes the rolling thunder. Bang! Here goes Doggy Dog. Lifting Triple H up. Dog bite. Bang! One, two, three, and just like that, Doggy Dog defends his WWE Undisputed Heavyweight Championship in honor of China. As he squashed Triple H. Triple H is in DX right now, but he still just got squashed champion. And Doggy Dog for China. Could have been a World Wrestling Federation champion at one point in time. We don't know what happened, but there's no way in hell Triple H is ever going to touch the World Wrestling Association Undisputed Heavyweight Championship. But thank you, Doggy Dog, for squashing Triple H, not even giving him a chance. As Doggy Dog threw that belt down on the ground and was like, F this. I'm about to beat your ass when you get to China. Because you know what? They should have bred her. I said Brett, my mistake. They should have let her back. They should have took her to rehab instead of taking somebody like freaking Sonny who doesn't give a fuck. Yes, I said it. Who doesn't give a fuck about the WWE. They put her in the Hall of Fame. What do you see she tried to do?
she tried to sell the goddamn ring and talking about everything she done is in her heart. Sonny, eat a fucking toy. She does that too much. I ain't gonna say that. Find something to do, Sonny. Choke on some more dicks. Something. But China, yeah, she probably did the same thing, but she did it for money. And she did it and she... Yeah, she cracked. She apologized so freaking much. How much more do you want from her? Yeah, act like you guys are perfect. And then you got Candace Michelle who did porn. You let her in the freaking WWE. But you know what? I love WWE. I love everything they do. But not this. I, st I stand by what I say. They should have let her go to rehab. They should have paid for it. They should have helped her out before she died. And not try to do something after she died. You know what? I'm stuttering because I'm so emotional right now. And I thank everybody for watching this. And literally. Don't treat me like a woman, and don't treat me like a man.